Okay, so I'm going to try to make some nettle beer. It says boil two kilos of nettle tips with four sliced lemons in nine liters of water for about 20 minutes. Uh, strain and add one kilo brown sugar and 25 gram cream of tartar. Uh, let it cool then add one tablespoon of dried yeast. Then pour into demi johns or other vessels which are fitted with fermentation lock. Uh, leave the demijohns in a warm place to ferment for three days and leave for a couple of days in a cool place before racking, uh, siphoning when solid, leaving solid residues behind in sterile bottles which are corked and stored somewhere cool and dark. This drink doesn't keep long and you can start drinking it a week after bottling. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, um, I've, I've gone and picked the nettles. I'll just go and show you. Uh, I've given them a quick rinse. Uh, quite a bit of crap came off them, so uh, definitely worth doing that. Um, so, and now I'm going to have to do it in four batches because I don't have a saucepan big enough. Uh, I'll show you what. Well, I haven't, I've roughly got about two kilos, but. I'll show you what uh, two kilos of nettle tips looks like. Um, okay, this is uh, what four kilos of uh, nettle tips look like. Uh, it is just the tips of the young nettles that I've picked. Um, so they should have the juicy bits. Um, uh, they still sting, so um, I need to put my gloves back on if I'm going to handle these. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this uh, saucepan and just boil boil it up with uh, with a, one lemon and do that for each batch here and uh, take from there. Okay, so as I say, I'm doing it in batches of four. I've got um, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter of uh, water and uh, one lime. Okay. Um, Well, it looks like I am going to uh, put two lots in here because I can get away with that with the size. So I'll just go and put that in and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got that in there. It's uh, just like making a nettle, nettle broth um, and then cooling that liquid down and using that as a stock to start the uh, the beer um, yeah I'm just maybe should have squeezed the lemons in there but I'm sure they'll dissolve and make it lemony um, so <coughs> yeah I'll show um, just let that boil for uh, 20 minutes and then um, strain it off um, I'll be back Five minutes to go. It's been boiling. It's um, it smells like spinach and it's quite nice with the lemon. Um, but yeah, I'll I've got to uh, another five minutes and I'll strain it. Okay, it's come up to twenty minutes. Um, I am going to strain somehow this liquid. Into here. I'm just using that thing. I think I know. Decant it in a uh, measuring jug and then I'll be able to pour the rest in there. Okay, okay, uh, I've just put my um, second batch on, uh, a bit less. Um, 
I remember before I think it was a few le less metals but it's in there uh, but this is the final I've got to put sugar in this but I tasted it um, with the lemon it's it tastes like dishwash uh, water um, at the moment but um, yeah rather than if you ever just make up the nettle and water it tastes quite nice the broth but <coughs> yeah so I had that and also um, don't forget to use the strain when you strain it off put that on a compost if you've got it because that's good for nitrogen uh, but yeah I, I used the sieve uh, just to uh, get rid of the chunks because some, some bits were uh, broken up quite a bit so I did that so yeah I'm just going to wait till that batch finishes and add the sugar yeah um, <coughs> so yeah in the end I emptied it all in back into this big bad boy here um, I'm just waiting for it to come up to the boil it's getting close now uh, so I have got uh, 25 grams of cream of tartar um, each one's 5 grams so 3, 5, 5, 25 and a, a kilo of sugar, brown sugar it says in the uh, recipe um, 750, two 750 bags so I'm just going to use a, uh, <coughs> a quarter of one and bung the other one in uh, mix that up and give it a bit of a stir and then I'll <coughs> got to let it cool down before I add the yeast and shove it into Demi John's so I might leave it overnight um, to cool down so I'll just do that so I've added sugar and cream of tartar and uh, I'm just going to leave that overnight and uh, let it cool down okay it's in the morning and it's uh, just covered with a towel to let it and it's definitely cooled down uh, in here I have a packet of yeast, uh, baking yeast um, what I'm going to do is just transfer <coughs> transfer some of this liquid to there to get the um, get the yeast going um, let's give it a shake and then that will start frothing up then I can add it to the um, the thing then I've got some demijohns which I've sterilized um, with a uh, very weak solution of bleach uh, and then rinsed it out with uh, water, water and hot water uh, also with my airlock so just waiting for that yeast and then mix it and decant it into the demijohns ok so I've let this yeast uh, ferment for a little bit for about half an hour just to give it a starting thing I've just uh, just given this a bit stir just in case anything falls down to the bottom but all the sugars dissolve so I'm just going to pour the, the yeast into here um, just keep to make sure it's all mixed in there Give that a quick, quick stir in there. And then uh, would be best to uh, use a filter to, to, to Demi John's, but I'm going to have to use a glass container and just carefully pour it in. But um, 
I'll see how I get on. Okay, so I've decanted it into uh, these Demi Johns. This one's about half full, and this one I didn't know whether to leave an air gap or, or what, but uh, just give it a bit more space. I've filled up the air locks um, just with a very slight um, solution of leach, very, very dilute, but um, so yeah, I'll just leave that three days here in, in a bit of warmth. And then uh, need to move them somewhere cool and dark for the uh, for three days. Then and then um, think about bottling or or whatever. Okay, uh, it is uh, day three, um, and tomorrow I shall move it into the garage where it's cooler and uh, darker. Um, it's still bubbling away. But definitely slowed down. Um, it looks a bit cloudy and unappetising. But something I think, well, I'd, if I was going to do this again, I'd um, put the lemon juice in when I'm adding the sugar, and not boil the lemon up with the uh, the nettles, because uh, I made I just made some nettle tea earlier, and it's come up really crystal <coughs> clear amber colour. And that's what I was after, and I think with the lemon and the citric acid, and it's just clouded things up. Um, you know, I could, like with um, wine, to force the sediment down, I could use some benakite clay, uh, basically cat litter, uh, ground it up to, um, but I shall see, maybe try it in a little while, because there's only a quarter in there, and up. And also, um, the, uh, the recipe called for nine litres, and each of these demi johns is four and a half, five litres, and so I've got, you know, maybe four, four and a half in there, and so they should be both full up. So I'm um, a quarter down. So if anything, um, it's uh, going to be stronger, um, but. Um, yeah, I shall see.